So Brock Purdy had a throwing session on Monday, took the day off Tuesday, and had another throwing session on Wednesday, and both times he threw the ball, he was throwing a football, according to Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network, who reiterates and insists that the Niners are confident or hopeful that Brock Purdy will return at some point during training camp. That all sounds great. Congratulations to Brock Purdy. It sounds like he's a little ahead of schedule and things are going well. It certainly hasn't had any setbacks. That's all great. I'm also looking forward to watching Brock Purdy in training camp, if he and does participate as the Niners hope. Because, you know, last year when I watched him play, he was with the third string. And it's really hard to evaluate a guy getting like five, six throws a day, playing with third stringers, throwing it, going against third stringers. This year, I'd like to see him against the Niners' number one defense because that defense has made every single quarterback on this team look bad. Trey Lance, Jimmy Garoppolo, doesn't matter who it is, it's a really tough challenge. So I'd like to see is Brock Purdy better against this great defense than the other quarterbacks I've seen who really faltered against it in, in August. And then also, I want to see Brock Purdy's confidence level. Because last year, what set him apart from everyone on the, all the other quarterbacks on the team was his confidence. Like, where did it come from? Um, I'm watching this quarterback competition right now between Sam Darnold and Trey Lance. And, geez, Sam Darnold has no confidence and Trey Lance has a little bit more. That, I mean, they're having a check down competition because both of them lack major confidence. And, you know, they've gone through a lot in their careers. I don't have to rehash it. Last year, Brock hadn't gone through much. He was just a rookie who got to start. He was like King Arthur. He pulled the the sword out of the stone. He was he was it was myth, it was mythological what he did. But then he tore his UCL, and big injuries like that can test a young player's confidence. Like they could tell Brock Purdy, "Hey, man, you're 100 percent healed. You're ready to go. You're full go." But there's a mental hurdle he has to get over too. Like, what's he gonna do next time bodies close in around him in the pocket in a real game? Well, we won't even see that in practice. But I wanna see what kind of confidence level he has going against the number one defense in practice. Because Kyle Shanahan's pattern with young quarterbacks is he shatters their confidence. And, um, you know, he shattered this kid's elbow. Did the confidence go with it? We'll see. I wouldn't blame Brock Purdy if he did. I mean, it does seem like the Niners are kind of desperately telling him to come back as soon as possible, no matter how he feels. And we'll see how, you know, he responds to that. He's saying the right things, but he's also saying there's a chance he won't play this year. So Niners keep pushing the timeline that he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back right now. But we'll see. I want to see uh, what his confidence level is, because if it's shaky at first, that's not his fault. There's no reason to rush him back. Right. He's the future, right? Do what's best for him. That's what's best for your organization, right? Well, we'll see. The confidence is key for Brock Purdy this offseason.